Everybody doing? Welcome back to Ass Hat Podcast on YouTube. Got another Dead Pit commentary DVD here. If you haven't watched my previous ones, and you go back through my thing, you'll see the box. I did an unboxing of this. A former Dead Pit or Dead Pit Radio, and the site is deadpit.com. It's still around. They still sort of do the podcast, but it's like a couple times a year. Was one of the more popular horror podcasts from about what, about 2008-ish to about 2000 and probably about 2012. Then start falling off because the host, especially one of them, had a bad habit of treating the fans like shit and trying to milk as much money out of them as they could. So it died off. Well, what they would do is they would do fan commentaries. Okay, a lot of podcasts. Have. Remember my old podcast? We did a fan commentary for Humongous, I think it was, and I was on the fan commentary for like The Shining on a different podcast. I mean, that's kind of a common thing. It ain't that hard to get a bunch of people together, throw on a DVD, and talk over it. All the other fan commentaries I've ever seen, you know, were free. You know, why charge? Not the, not fat fuck here. Fat fuck. CK West Vance. He said he's going to charge, and it was 2 to $4, I can't remember, to buy the commentaries digital. Or if you caught them at a convention, you would find one of these DVDs where they sold them for, I think it was 10 bucks. I think that's what I've been told. I'm not, I know it was at least 5 I like this here. This DVD is not created, sold, or distributed by, by anyone associated with Dead Pit or with or represented by DeadPit.com. Yeah, right. People believe that shit. Shit, Airport of. And what this is, is they got drunk and watched Twilight. I expected this one to actually be funny. Because this is one of those films they hate. I can understand why they hate I've tried watching Twilight. I've tried a couple of different times. And the story shit, the acting is not good at all. And I don't. Get what everybody saw while well, these women saw this. It's like you want a good love story, it's a lot better love stories than this. Yeah, but this shit got popular, so they did a drunken commentary, and it's exactly what you think. They're do, going for the obvious jokes. It's not that great. Honestly, the best thing about this DVD is they put it in a double DVD case, so I might use this case for something else. But as usual, most of these dead pit. Things. I always reveal a little something about the guys. All right, well, let's talk about the time CK ripped off and mentally and caused mental anguish to a guy with mental issues. I'm not gonna say the guy's name. He showed up at the forums after I've been there a little while and posted a little bit. Anybody who on their forum profile had like their AIM name listed, he would message them. You just want people to bullshit with. Okay, well, I started bullshitting with him. And this guy collected, at the time, I haven't talked to him a little while, collected VHS. So I was like, yeah, if I find some VHS, you know, I'll put them aside for you. Not a big deal. Well, then he tells me about how he had spent a pile of money and traded a bunch of stuff he wanted to keep just to get CK some WrestleManias on VHS. Sent them to CK, and CK never acknowledged it. I never acknowledged it. Never said a word about it. I wouldn't be surprised if CK just turned, turned around and flip them. And this pissed this guy off and upset this guy a lot. Well, I was like, well, I'm going to try something out. So I sent a package. I had some stuff that I didn't want anymore. I thought they might enjoy. And I threw in some stuff for Uncle Bill, some stuff for CK, and sent it up there. And I, once again, and my package was more than just a couple of VHS. Mine was like 10, 15 DVDs, some books, you know, a bunch of stuff. Never acknowledged it. The only reason my package got acknowledged is because when they were doing live call-ins, I asked live, did you get my package? And then... As soon as that one goes, oh, yeah, 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 oh, yeah, shit, sorry, want to thank you, thank you for that. And CK just kind of mumbled on and things. CK was the worst about just treating the fans like total shit. And he wondered why, because I've talked to other people that know him well, that told him, he was wondering why the numbers on the downloads of the show are going up. Because he's treating everybody like shit. I mean, by the end, most of the people on their forum, you think people on their forum would be the diehard listeners, most people on the forum are not even listening to the show. Matter of fact, the last year, year and a half, the show was on the air. He wasn't even posting links to the show on the forum because nobody there was listening. And the forums had went to shit. So if you want to hear just how stupid some of this shit goes, look for the Dead Pit YouTube channel. Look for them on Facebook. Look for them on uh, thedeadpit.com. They listen to some of this. Some of them, they, I'll give them this. When they interview somebody, usually it's pretty good. But... They pissed off so many people and burned so many bridges they couldn't get any interviews. And they claim, oh, it's because we've interviewed. No, there's plenty of people out there. You just pissed off too many motherfuckers. So the show just went to shit. Now, like I said, they do two to four a year. They're not really that great. They're short. They kind of suck. And they're back up to keep, 
you know, eyes rolling in the side is they gave Steve Benenfield, I think his name, and Dana, I don't know what her last name is, they're on a show they're called Two Against or some shit, and it fucking sucks. Dana's just a screeching harpy, annoying as fuck, and Steve has no backbone. I mean, the show is horrible. And just, I don't know. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. And if you did, give me a thumbs up, subscribe. And for comments, how about this time? Leave me a comment on if you've ever listened to Dead Pit and your thoughts about it. Because I know there's a couple people watching this. They were f former Dead Pit listeners. And I've had one guy definitely make, oh, I've had more than one. I've had three different people definitely make some comments about some of the shit Dead Pit, especially CK pulled. Oh, talk to everybody later. Bye-bye.